Hello, this is the Lovely Retouch. This tutorial today is about how to create a haze or a glow to your photo. Now it helps to have a lens that has an f-stop around 1.2 to 2.8 that really helps to create that pink skin tone and the really nice glows if you you can look up how to attach to achieve that but this is how to achieve it with Photoshop alone now you'll be using these three adjustment layers now I brought this one up to show the difference I used to use lightness but I don't use it anymore because I think that exposure level exposure and levels they are much, much, much better at, at getting the job done without overdoing it and it looking fake. Because I do believe in minimalism for your editing so that it looks good and yeah, you may do a lot to the photo, but it doesn't look like you've done a lot to the photo. I know that sounds like a contradiction, but I guess to me it makes sense is you want it to look natural like it was naturally that way that is, that is I think that's a great philosophy to have about your editing is to try to make it look like you didn't really edit it um, this is a picture of a model friend of mine she wants to be an actress um, you can check her out at www.meganewick.com just figured I'd throw that out there um, okay, so you come into levels and you mess with this slider, and you turn the, you turn, you pull <laughs> the black arrow over back and forth, just that one. And you turn, we turn that on so you can see that. And let's see, that there. Okay, and then the exposure, you want to mess with the offset and the gamma correction layer or sliders my bad and turn that on what I did the gamma correction kind of replenishes the shadows back and the offset I don't quite know it kind of it messes with the lighting but I tend not to mess with it a whole bunch because it tends to blow out the highlights a lot like it kind of is right here but if you see, this is the result. That was before. That is after. You see the sort of light haze to it. It's getting annoying. Um, that that's that's the end result. Now I brought this up so you could see. That's what lightness does by itself. And when you add exposure on top of it, you know, I, I guess it could provide a certain amount of effect. You can play with it. But I don't really like using lightness because I feel like it it's too hard. It's not as subtle and as natural as levels is. So I would recommend levels. But if you can find a way to make lightness work for you, go for it. I, I I highly suggest that you experiment with everything and anything you can find on here because you never know you can find something that just fits you and your personality and the way you work the way you want your work to look and then just go with it because then it'll, then it'll become your trademark this is just my suggestion for for what I what I like and what I think looks good and that's basically it this is this is the method I use all the time. I know there's other methods for this, including capturing it in its original form like this. But this is just simply how a, a way to edit it this way. I hope this is helpful. As usual, you can leave a comment or message me, and I'll be more than glad to answer any questions or help you with anything. I like to mention that because I haven't mentioned this before that I have extensive knowledge and also the GIMP programs which is a free editing program you can get at GIMP.org um, if you don't have a lot of money to drop for Photoshop I would suggest GIMP because it's it's a really great free program for people it's
listeners that don't know a whole bunch. It's very easily laid out. I'm not saying that people who have a lot of experience can't use it, and it's too basic for them. It's just easy to use. So I would suggest that. Um, I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.